Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemag TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at another one of the Visual Composer widgets. In this instance, we're going to be taking a look at the tabs option. So let's see how we can work with tabs in Visual Composer. Okay, I've got a previously created page in front of me, Visual Composer is active, and I've got a blank row already inserted. If you don't know how to do any of these, I'd recommend going and taking a look at the Introduction to Visual Composer video series. They're going to give you a good overview of how the Visual Composer works, the building blocks, etc. I'm just going to assume that you understand the way this works for this particular video. Okay, so we've got our blank row, so I'm going to click the plus to add a new widget. And we're going to choose the tabs option. So that's going to open up the tabs ready for us to start applying some settings. Now the tabs work slightly different to some of the other widgets you're going to work with in Visual Composer. There are two stages to working with this. You work with the tabs themselves to style those, to give them names and specify certain parameters for those. And the second thing is you actually then specify what goes inside each one of those tabs. So if we take a look at the left hand side, you can see by default we've got tab one and tab two and a plus symbol. The plus symbol allows us to continue adding additional tabs which we can then rename and configure the way we want. But for this example, I'm just going to stay with tab one and tab two. So the first thing we're going to do is change the name of this first tab to something a bit more meaningful. And you can see when we take our mouse over this, we've got a context sensitive set of icons that are a different color to normal. These are now orange as opposed to the normal green. So we can adjust the section, we can add or prepend the section, we can edit the section, copy it or delete it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to edit this. Clicking on that will bring up a dialog box that gives us a couple of things we can do. First thing we can do is give it a name. So let's just give this a bit more information. So we'll just call this settings. We're not going to write the section ID. We're going to let that be generated automatically by Visual Composer. So we're not going to touch that. If we want, we can add an icon. So we click on yes, you can see it gives us a couple of options. We can specify is the icon before the title or after the title. In other words, is it before where it says tab one at the moment or settings when we update it or whether it goes after that. We can choose what icon library to use, whether we want to use font awesome, open iconic, etc. We can then choose the actual icon we want from a whole array of different icons. So because we're going to use this as settings, let's just say, well, let's change this to something I go by iconic and let's just see what we've got in there. So we've got anything we think is going to be relevant to what we want to do. But it doesn't really matter. We'll just use this symbol. That's fine. Before the title is fine. So we set up all the things we need to do in there. We hit save changes. That'll update it, give it settings. It won't show the icon in this example. But once we actually update this page or save the page and then we go over to the front end, we'll see those changes. And before we proceed, let's just go and change tab two by clicking on that, hitting the edit icon, and we'll just give that a different name, and we'll call this one widgets. We'll say, yes, we want an icon. We'll say we want to use open iconic again, and we'll just choose something else, an umbrella, that'll do. Oh, it really says tab two. Okay, so save that. So there's our two tabs. Click back on settings to activate that one and make that the currently focused one. Now we need to just hit the plus symbol inside there and specify what's going to go in there. So for this example, I'm just going to put a simple text block in there, but you can, in the same way as you can create more complicated layers, you can get a bit more creative with this. You can put charts, you can put text in there, images, galleries, etc. a whole range of different things. So I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to put a little bit of filler text that I've got in there. I'll give it a title so we've got something styled and we'll just call this settings. We'll specify that's heading three. We don't want any animation or anything like that. So we'll say save changes on that. And we'll do the same now for the widgets. So we'll just click to activate that tab, hit the plus, choose text box, wait for that to load up, delete what's already in there and we'll call this widgets paste in my filler text, set that to be heading three, so everything is styled the way you want, hit save changes. So there's our tabs already set up for us. Now we've got two tabs on there. If I want to add a third one, I can simply hit the plus. That'll create a new tab. If I want to get rid of it, I can just simply click on that, 
hit the little trash icon to delete it, confirm I want to get rid of it, and there's our previously created tab deleted. Hit the update, that'll save that information out for us. Then we can switch over to the front end of the site and take a look at what our new tabs look like with the icons and everything else all set up and styled inside our particular design. So here we are on the front end of the website, and as you can see, everything is styled in accordance with the way that my particular website has been set up. The icons are visible. We can switch between the tabs. So our text is styled inside there. Very quick and easy way of creating tabbed information to cut down on having massive pages where you've got a lot of information that can be very overwhelming very quickly. Great for FAQ pages and a whole host of other different ways of using this. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the like icon, it really does help support us. If you've got any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you've got any videos you'd like to see in the future in this series of WordPress tutorials, or any of the add-ons that you can get for WordPress like WooCommerce, etc., please just let me know in the comments section below and we'll do our very best to create a series of videos that'll cover those particular topics that you're interested in. Until next time, take care.